So it seems like nowadays everyone's talking about like escaping the matrix. And if you haven't heard that term, it's this generation's word of describing what used to be called like the rat race. Um, and the rat race is basically, you know, you work a full-time job, you get a mortgage, you, like, you end up owing the bank low, thousands of pounds for the house. Um, you know, you have a couple of kids and then that's it, your, your life's over. You don't really do anything much with your life. But to some people, that is a life. Um, but to others, you know, they're kind of like, you didn't do anything really special or whatever. Um, but like with the job, with having a full-time job, it's almost become sort of demoralized with this generation that like, oh, you know, you work a full-time job because there's so many young people that are making so much money online. Um, but the thing is, you know, making money online is a lot harder than what these people make it out to be. I've been spending a lot of time recently trying to sort of figure out how all these people are making money. And um, I realize, you know, there's a lot of work that needs to go into it. And a lot of them are making money by telling you how to make money. You're watching their content like, you know, you're watching my content now and if it gets hundreds of thousands of views, you get a lot of money in ad revenue and you can do like sponsors and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I don't have a great set of skills. Like I don't mind speaking on camera, making content, but like the content I make is not getting millions of views. But if you get someone that is doing that, you know, there's a lot of money to be made there, but it's a, it can be quite a lot of hard work. Um, but I first started working like a normal job when I was like, 15, 16, I was doing like a part-time shift, um, doing like washing up and stuff. And that was the first time I kind of got thrown into the world of the matrix, the rat race, kind of like what it's like to be told what to do by someone and turning up on time. Like obviously turning up on time you would do at school, but this was a lot more sort of like, because you was getting paid for it, you had a lot more sort of, um, uh, it had a lot more hold over you. Um, because you was obviously earning money from it. And I, I remember I was, you know, some some shifts were like really tough. Even though it's just washing up, it was just like quite full on sometimes, especially if it was like a big event going on. And I was only young, I was only like 16. And, and the pub that I was working in, it was like right on the main road. And it was always on the weekends. It was like Fridays and Saturdays. And like I would see my friends walk past the pub, you know, and like they was all going to go out drinking or like, like having some fun. And I was just sitting in the pub working and doing this like horrible shift. And I remember being like, even at that age, like, oh, this this sucks. Like, this is what I've got to do to get money. Um, I've got to sort of sacrifice that freedom to go out and do that. I mean, admittedly, it probably got me out of doing things I shouldn't have been doing at that age. But um, that said, it was kind of like, oh, this is, this is kind of like my life now then. Um, and then from then on, I worked a few jobs until I got into the job that I'm in now uh, when I just turned 20 and I've just turned 31 now. So I've been working the nine to five life now for like a good 11 years in this job I'm in and the job's all right. You know, they, they look after me um, and, you know, there's like free coffee and stuff there um, and I can like take an air fryer there and cook food when I want, like it's cushy. I can watch YouTube on my phone whilst I'm doing work. Um, but obviously I do still have a boss and you know if he wants something doing I have to do it if I if I come in late you know like he would turn me off um, and I think that's probably the problem with a lot of people with working a full-time job is what they struggle with is the fact that you know no matter how well you're sort of looked after in your like full-time job there's there's an element of like there's always someone like above you um, in most cases um, and the problem with that is is that don't get me wrong, you will get some nice bosses, but majority of bosses, if they're in charge of, you know, your job uh, and your role and like how much money you get, there's there's a certain level of power that comes over you that they have. And um, a lot of people struggle to deal with that power appropriately, you know, that they have over you. And this is something I've always said, you know, like people don't leave bad jobs, they leave bad management. And when I look at all the jobs I've done, all of them, you know, from like washing up construction or to like the one I'm in now, they've all been fairly manageable. I've not actually hated doing the job, but it's been either who I had to work with or work under that has been the problem. And when I speak to a lot of people, that is generally the case. But is that the reason 
the fact that people don't like working a job and they're trying to escape the matrix now is because no one likes their bosses or anything. No, because, you know, it's probably an argument to be made that back in our parents' day and stuff, you know, the bosses would have been even more harsh on their workers as opposed to now. So we may even have it better than anyone's ever had it in terms on sort of like, you know, management kind of trying to treat their employees with respect. Um I think what the massive shift is the fact it's the internet. And like I said, you've got people saying, claiming that they're making like thousands of pounds just from TikTok and stuff. And some of them genuinely are, you know, once you hit a certain amount of requirement on TikTok, I believe it's like 10,000 and then you upload videos that are a minute or longer. Um, you've got kids that are doing gaming channels that are making like 20 grand in the space of like three, four months from just uploading to there, you know, and they're naturally going to look down upon someone that is grafting six days a week, working a job and having to work for someone that they don't particularly want to work with, um, spending all their time there, they can't see their kids, and they're not even making a fraction of what this kid's making from playing a video game that is a hell of a lot of fun. Um, so then, you know, you've got these kids that are going on these platforms and just literally saying how trash working a full-time job is. Um and it's unfortunate because, you know, it's not all this glitz and glamour making money online that people make it out to be. And, um, you know, I can definitely feel the pressure, even at my, like at my age, for not having my own sort of side business that is going to get me out of working my full-time job. You know, like, I don't want to be working my full-time job for the rest of my life. Like, as I say, you know, you're making someone else rich, but my job, they do look after me there and they've taught me a valuable skill. And, um, you know, I'll always be really grateful for that. But one day I hope that I can build something to not escape, but just to, so that I'm free on my own terms. Um, but it's not it's not because I'm just like, oh, I have to escape. Like these people, these people are saying working a job is wage slavery or a corporate sheep, all of that. Like I'm not quit. I'm not I'm not trying to um, get out of my job because of that. It's because I want to be my own, like my own boss, my own person and go my own way that's all it is um but i do understand like not everyone has a cushy job like i do um don't get it wrong there's some jobs that would have definitely made me feel like i need to escape right now because i couldn't work underneath the management um but yeah the internet has 100 percent brought this sort of shift on um and if you do work a job a full-time job like i have done for a long time and you're feeling the pressure as well like don't don't boot yourself up over it you know like there's a lot of mistakes I made. Like I could have been making content or I could have done something like on the side uh, five, six years ago and the age I'm at now it could have, it could have really paid off. I could have started a podcast five, six years ago doing motiv motivational kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it could have been doing really well for me now. Um, but I'm sort of trying to use my spare time now, like either creating content or just, I've, I've recently started making music. Um, I really enjoy that. Maybe one day that will pop off, who knows? Um, but yeah, just, just sort of like working the full-time job and then doing something on the side, but trying to not feel the pressure of like, just because you're not making 10 grand a month from your side hustle or whatever, to not feel like demotivated. And another thing as well, um, comparing sort of working in this generation to our like parents and older generation, um, you know, back in their day, you could be like a single person and work a full time job and you could get up flat and you could pay for your bills and your food. Um, but in this generation now, you know, like if you're making, let's say, two grand a month, the, the cheapest flat in my area, and I don't even live in a nice place, um, particularly the cheapest like one bedroom flat is like 700 750 let's say 700 and then you've got council tax water gas and electric you're easily looking at like a thousand maybe a bit more just for the rent and all and everything included um and then you've got like your food you've got your car and if your car anything goes wrong and stuff so you're just really not left with a lot of money and most people you know in their mid-20s they're not making like two grand a month unless they're doing like a pretty valuable skill you know like the average job working in tesco's or um you know in sort of retail or whatever it isn't really going to get you even that kind of uh, paycheck at the end of the month um so it's sort of like the inflation the wages haven't caught kept up with inflation so 
I imagine back in the day when there was obviously no internet as well, so there's not this bombardment of like, you need to be t- you need to be making 10 grand a month from being online, like you need to stop being lazy and just do this. Um, there was none of that pressure and also the fact that working a normal job, you could still live a pretty fairly okay life and get all your essentials, but that's just not the case now. You know, the case now for a lot of people is I'm working a full-time job and I still can't afford a house. I still can't afford to go and live on my own. Or if I do live on my own, I'm literally gonna have no money to save or I can't do anything. Um, so I feel like that is putting, again, even more pressure on people that are working a full-time job to feel demoralized for doing so. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously I'm definitely an ad- advocate for using your spare time outside of work to try and find another avenue to make more money. I feel like now the the way the world kind of is, is that you're almost forced to try and figure out how to make more money on the side. We all want more money. More money makes the world go around as they say. But the main reason for this video is to just sort of, sort of break down like why there is so much pressure on like people now to like do something outside of their job or run a business. Um, it's, it's, it's basically because, you know, like full-time job isn't really gonna be enough now to give you the life that you really want. So you have to try and think of something else outside of it. But bottom line is don't feel bad if you're working a full-time job. I've been working a full-time job and I'll probably still be working a full-time job um, in wage slavery for the next five to 10 years, potentially. You know, I'm gonna keep working on what I'm doing now. Um, trying to learn new skills and eventually maybe I will escape um, but for now just like enjoy it and just be grateful for the fact that I do have a full-time job that is like okay and that might be the case for you so um, yeah I hope you enjoy this video if you made it this far thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one